comes Taub Jr. now to the inside of Zacharias as well. He'll grab that fifth. Hello, friends. So this video, this is this is gonna be a little different. Um, Mike and I stayed back from Florida this year. However, my brother Billy and the '96 team they went to Florida, and lucky for us, we had some um, camera crew shall we say, did some assistance for me. So uh, we're going to be watching it at the same time. It is Saturday, uh, uh, the 11th. <laughs> um, so as I'm editing this, as soon as this is done, it's getting dropped. You guys are watching it. So shout out to everyone who partaked to help make this video happen Special thanks to Mark for, I mean, I know the 96 team. These guys are going to get a handful when I see them because I know they weren't the um, the easiest camera crew to work with or actors of the week. So thank you, Mark, for seriously grabbing the footage because if it wasn't for you, this video wouldn't be here. And shout out to Kim and Dan also for grabbing footage as well so we're just clapping and putting it all together right here right now okay so here we go we're in lake city florida down here for a week of dirt racing at all tech speedway uh we've all arrived here yesterday today is monday uh it is a gorgeous day 67 degrees not a cloud in the sky uh, we just got back from the track, dropped off the trailer, got our spot. Uh, we're back here at our little compound. Uh, we have a nice little house, a little cabin. Mom and dad are here with their camper. And uh, I'm going to give you a little look at the site here where we're staying. And uh, we're all going to spend the afternoon today doing different things. A couple of guys are going to go to some races. Uh, I think Rick and myself are going to go down to Daytona. Um, Billy wants to go kayaking. He has to work today. He's hoping to get out about 2.30 in the afternoon and maybe go to the park, try and get on a kayak. Uh, good luck with that. Hopefully he doesn't drown, so we need him to drive. But anyway, I'm going to give you a little view here of the site. All right, so as we're coming here in the driveway, you can see Mom and Dad set up their camper over here on the right. They're all plugged in. Uh, I guess they're going to be staying with us the whole week. And then we got a, little, uh, we got a nice little carport over here. Nice spot. We're going to be able to work and wash the cars. Bring them up here and work on them, get them ready. We're literally only a few miles from the track. This is kind of nice. Over here, we got the main house. So we're all staying in here. Plenty of bedrooms, except I got kicked out already. And uh, they put me in my own little sun cabin, which is actually pretty nice because it's got my own bed, my own bathroom, my own shower. And uh, I'm all, all alone in there. They don't like me anymore. And of course, you know, we're out on the back deck and everybody's just kind of enjoying the sun. Shane's supposed to be helping me out here, but he said, no, no, it's going to be all beep, 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 beep. No, uh, no comments. Shane, you have a comment? Nope. What do you, what'd you say, Shane? Nope. No comment? You don't want to hear my comment. It's going to be censored. It's going to be censored? Beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, this is this is what the crew does um, in Florida. They just they make a, a fire pit and and they watch it burn. This is this is very entertaining, guys. I'm I'm so glad you guys enjoyed enjoyed doing this. More smoke than fire. <laughs> yeah, but they'll all be gone in a second. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are here. We are at All Tech Speedway. We got a nice 75 degree, sunny, beautiful day for the Brett Deo Short Track Super Series uh, races for the week. This is the Sunshine Swing. Today is day one. Uh, today's practice, and uh, we're about to get started. It's around four o'clock. Everybody's starting to work on the cars, and we're gonna start hitting the track. 
and uh, I'm gonna take you up there and go take a look and see what the conditions look like. So here we go, we're coming into the pits. Looks like Brett Day was having hospitality night. Oh, look who's underneath the tent. There's Pacey. Say hello, Pacey. He's gonna have a little get together tonight after practice. We'll probably join them and see how much fun that is. As you can see, the pits are pretty full. We're looking to have a good time. There's our crew chief, Keith. Hey, hey Keith, how are you? you What's your responsibility with this team? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. That's our, that's our like main mechanic, crew chief. Crew chief. <laughs> yeah, that, there's Jeff. Okay, say goodbye to Jeff. Do you want your clothes? Yes, please. All right, I'm gonna... So, we got nice full pits. Looks like we're gonna have a good show out, a show this week. Plenty of people here. It's gonna be a good time. Hopefully, uh, weather's not looking so good for Friday. Looks like we're not gonna be able to race Friday, but cross your fingers you never know and we'll see what happens we'll take a walk over and check out the track they've been working on it for a couple of days all right so as you can see this track has been well watered they're working on running it in right now uh, we got a couple hours yet before we hit the track and we're gonna get back to the trailer now and get unloaded and start setting up all the cars and hopefully it's gonna be a good night we'll turn some good times Start commenting. Here I am. Check the pressure in the shop. I don't think so. So Shane, got to ask you a question. No, you're not asking me questions. No. So if you had to say, what was your what was your main main purpose, your main job on this team? What would you have to say? Uh, I uh, I changed the urinal cakes at the shop. <laughs> That's what I do. How about we give Shane Shane Butler here is our expert shock and tire man. Oh. You already gave me way too much credit. Well, that's your job. Uh, that's your title. <laughs> yeah. Say, Jim. What's up? And we got Jim here. Not only is he the best man with a wax rag, he is our fuel tech. So I had told Mark to introduce the characters for the week, and yeah, obviously they just they just didn't want to participate. So as I'm going around and I'm talking to all the crew members and trying to introduce you to them and give you an idea of what the responsibilities are, I realized I should probably introduce you myself. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Mark Thomas. Uh, I am the owner of MP Tree Service. So I'm a sponsor of the 96 and a longtime friend of Rick Halston's. Um, my responsibilities with the crew, yeah, I'm a full-time crew member. Uh, mainly I do sheet metal. That's my main responsibility besides whatever else fits in that needs to be done. Just like everyone else on this crew, doesn't matter. No one has a chip on their shoulder. Everybody jumps in to do whatever. They don't care if they're washing the car or changing tires or mounting tires. It just doesn't matter. We all work together. Um, but we all do seem to have a little specialty that we usually do as our main responsibility. First, I'm sure everybody's going to want to know. How do, how do I you feel? feel? All right, I can roll through this. Um, <laughs> recap of the night. Uh, a little sore tonight, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be a little hard tomorrow. But I don't feel bad. Uh, track's smooth here, which helps a lot. The way you sit in the car is a little different, but uh, we had a good night. We worked our butt off. Uh, my guys were sweating, actually, so that means we worked hard. We stayed about consistent across the board. Uh, they got a little faster, got a little slower. So uh, we're going to go back to the drawing board, uh, wash her up, and have a couple of beers, and go back at it tomorrow. Thanks for right. tuning in. Sounds good. Thanks to Marky Mark. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so that's a wrap. And uh, our first night of uh, racing down here for Sunshine Swing is over. This was practice. Uh, we did pretty well, as you heard from Billy. Good thing is he's feeling okay. That's what we're all waiting to hear. And, uh, and that's about it. So now we're gonna go have some fun and uh, have some adult beverages. So uh, just remember to subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, and come back soon. Goodbye. I feel like this is the perfect video that I would grab. <laughs> Anything with animals, guys, this is this is me right here. Hello, everybody. Here we are in Lake City, Florida. Another gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day for day two of the Short Track Super Series Sunshine Swing. Uh, today is race day, finally here. Uh, we're going to get to race today, 30 lapper. Stay tuned, see what comes up. jealous of everyone wearing shorts and t-shirts right now because as I'm making this video this is this is making me very sad. Oh, All right, for tonight's race, we have 32 modified showed up. Uh, I believe we said 43 sportsmen are here. Uh, we're gonna have 30 laps, uh, three 10 lap heats, seven qualify, four redraw. Uh, they're gonna have one concy, and five will get in out of the concy. So there's no provisionals tonight. This is the first race of the season. So uh, that's about it. And um, let's watch some racing. everyone's in Florida sending me the footage for the whole week gotten some clips so far but we'll, we'll see we'll see if we can grab some footage off of flow to collaborate together but this is this is the view us oh, of us watching the TV yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna mix this this week's video up this is gonna be interesting because they're sending me the footage I'm putting it together I have no control on what they send me. So luckily we, we cut out of work early today for a meeting and the meeting ended exactly when Hot Lap started. So that was very convenient. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Hey, look, is that mom and dad's camper? Yeah, that's mom and dad's camper. <laughs> <laughs> on the back stretch, I should call mom tell her to wave to us. Front in row number one with Corey Cormier. Here they come. Beautiful start off the corner. Team number two for the Short Track Super Series modifies into the turn. Curtis has the lead. They're three wide, a little further back in the pack. Cormier in hot pursuit of the leader. Some heavy hitters here in heat number two for the modifieds. It's Curtis and Cormier leading the way. Good battle for third. Lawbach trying to work underneath Darren Smith. Out of the corner, Rick Lawspot. Darren Smith is there. Danny Creighton has joined the fray. It's still a three-car battle. Even though Friesen's gotten out in front of it, Corey Cormier strolling with all the chaos behind him. are the 11 T Jeff Taylor and the final start of the 55 J Mario Claire 
consolation is underway for the Bob Hilver Sportswear Short Track Super Series Mighty Modifieds. Five will transfer out of this 10 lap event. Steve Davis out in front. Danny Johnson trying to grab the third spot away. Three wide, Zachariah Stangle and Pouch Jr. Stangle gets to the fourth spot. Here comes Pouch Jr. now to the inside of Zacharias as well. He'll grab that fifth and final transfer spot, but here comes Mark Johnson. Three wide again. Pouch Jr. slides up in front of Zacharias. Great racing here for that fifth and final transfer spot. Mark Johnson down on the bottom. Pouch Jr. alongside of him. That's the battle for fifth. We took seven out of three heats. That's 21. Five out of the con. He'll give us 26 for the nice feature. Down the back, Mark Johnson. Then he outside of Billy Pouch Jr. Final lap, checkered flag will wave. It will be Steve Davis, your Concy winner, followed by Danny Johnson, Matt Stankle, who will be fourth. It'll be Mark Johnson over Billy Pouch Jr. As you can tell the struggles of starting in the back of the pack you you don't make it onto the live stream unless you do something good and and I mean he just about had hard charger and yet didn't see him once did not did not see him once okay yep. let's close this out tonight got much better in the feature there we uh, we made a lot of wholesale changes uh, Stepped on her. I don't know. We just missed it in the heat race. I, you know, me and Mark Johnson were really good last night. We ran ninth, eighth, and ninth tonight in the heat. So, uh, rebounded herself in, got fifth in the Conti, and drove up to 12th from 26. And I don't think anybody dropped out. We passed everyone. We made a lot of right changes and the right moves. And uh, that's why I've been together so long. We all, we all put our heads down and don't give up. And that's what I like about the group of guys we have. And uh, we're going to go back and uh, we're going to load this to the house and do the work at the house tonight to see what we did and what we made changes. Okay, I guess that's a wrap for tonight. Uh, day two is in the books. Uh, we turned out we did pretty good and moved from 26 up to 12. But we might have got a uh, hard charger award. We don't know yet, but um, thanks for watching. Uh Billy Pouch Jr., Mark Johnson, Matt Stangle.
Johnson has to asphalt paving nine. J. Mark Johnson alongside of him, the Trailer Country 66, Corbin Miller. The final row on the inside. He was the top five last night. Then the Nardozzi paving and contracting number 78, Alex Payne. And the final starting spot is the 71, Jimmy Zacharias, the Mid-State Basement Authority, number 71. Heat number three is underway. Ten laps will qualify six and send four to the redraw. Down the front straightaway, lap number one. Your leader is Batman Peter Britton. Yeah, Britton getting a good draw on the dirt draft draw on the pole. Guler to second. Good battle here for third between the 84 Y Yankowski and the 99 of Larry White. They'll go side by side in a three and four. Lighten and Larry in his favorite groove upstairs. Jeff, this is a stout heat race here. Any driver running in a qualified spot right now could win tonight's feature. Add in a guy running back there in ninth. He was on the podium last night, Alex Payne, but right now battle for the final redraw spot. Billy Pouch Jr. to the inside of Alex Yankowski. Whoa, baby, that was a close call there. Pouch tried to dive in low and pull a slider, ran out of room. Gouler holding firm over Yankowski. We'll take the Sunoco checkered flag and Peter Britton will take home the win, followed by Larry White. Mike Gouler will be third. Yankowski fourth, Pouch Jr. fifth. in 15th, he's up to 7th, now working on Cormier for the 6th spot. We've got 21 more trips around, Pouch Jr. to Cormier's back bumper for 6th. Yeah, we've got cars spread all the way around the big half mile here at Alltech Raceway. Brins by his lonesome in the number 3 spot, and closing quickly behind him is Matt Shepard, then Gouler, who now has Billy Pouch Jr. and Corey Cormier right behind him out of turn number 4. Gouler, Pouch Jr., Cormier, and a tight battle down the front stretch. If you're just joining us and wondering where the... Short Track Super Series, will we add a 38th driver tonight? Here they come, back to green, out of the turn, we go racing. Larry White on the gas, on the... Okay, okay, that... Let's just rewatch that again. Uh, how, how do you start single file and you're able to start before the rest of the field and start on the outside when you're supposed to be all single file. Let's just, let's just, let's just watch that one more time. Short track super series. Will we add a 38th driver tonight? Here they come back to green out of the turn. We go racing. Larry white on the gas on the green down into turn number one. He'll get around Billy Pouch Jr. He'll go to the outside and around Mike Guler. Larry White now up to the top five with Schilling pulling away. Yeah, White takes advantage of the restart and a lap down go around. Larry White really cooking up on that outside groove, trying to take fourth from Peter Britton. We've got the parallel sticks in the air two more times around. And Schilling, what you thought might be a dog fight with Shepard on his back bumper, to no avail. Schilling right back to work, pulling away from Superman. Down the back straightaway, we've got a battle between Pouch, Larry White, and Peter Britton with Siri still in the number three spot. We'll get the Baron's Performance Warehouse. White flag, final lap, one lap to go. Up front, it remains the number 20 of David Schilling. He's been on a roll the last several features with top five finish after top five. Followed by Matt Shepard, Tyler Siri. Then we got Peter Britton, Larry White, Billy Pouch Jr. How do I start tonight? Uh, we started fourth and ended up fifth in the heat. Uh, we drew, put me 15th in the feature. I think we drove up to sixth, I guess we got at the end there. Guys worked real hard on the car all night, uh, really all day. We started all last night and all day. Uh, really good team effort. Uh, just, uh, it's, it's, it is what it is. Just not a giant fan of uh, track promoters cars winning races. I think it's kind of loaded. So uh, different story, different day, but uh, we'll move on to the next one. Well, Billy's not wrong. I mean, I might be a uh, oh, good 20, hours away from where they're racing and boy did the internet blow up with the um lack of enthusiasm for that car winning yeah yeah it, it no one no one was happy except for probably the winner Well, day 
five um, and they're, they pretty much spent the day watching it rain. And then by the time I texted Mark and I said, hey, can you make sure to give me something? He goes, yeah, we're already at the bar. <laughs> so we just watched it rain today. All right, uh, so this Saturday, 1030. Oh, my hair don't look too good in this video here, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking there. Uh, we're heading to kill some time. Me and Mark, we're going to go to the Florida State Fair. We were able to move our airfare airplane tickets till tonight to fly out to see, uh, get home to see our families, which is really good. Like, I don't know, it cost us each 100 bucks, so it was cheaper than a motel room, we figured, so we'll do that. Um, great week. Unfortunately, we only got two days of racing in in practice, so that part sucked, but um, very, very thankful we had a good run on Friday night and we came forward both nights we just couldn't get through the heats thanks to thanks to all you for following along thanks to Mark for the great video work thanks to uh, Shane Jimmy Keith Ricky and Jeff for all the work they did this week um, kind of compliments to a freeze and said yesterday you guys worked way too hard at the racetrack so uh, shout out to them um, very very we got soaking wet yesterday in the rain doing that stuff so thanks to uh, Pioneer Pole Buildings for coming on board for this trip to help us out uh, thanks to everyone else that makes this uh, makes this stuff go around. Uh, got some cool stuff coming on the next couple weeks. It's uh, it's officially race season. If I didn't, uh, well, I'm more excited to go home and see my kids. I we wouldn't mind going to Volusia, but it's time to go home. So uh, cool week in Florida. We got a little bit of color looking at myself here. Um, enjoy. Thanks for riding along, and we'll catch you all in a couple weeks. Literally, what was that? Six freaking days, and unfortunately only two days of racing that I love Florida don't get me wrong I'm if you've never been you gotta go but that is the problem and the struggle with mother nature you don't you don't know what you're gonna expect I thought they had a really good turnout and it, it I, I feel feel for all the people that drove down there that raced down there for literally two days so that really stinks but like Billy said, <sighs> racing is just about here, guys. So check back with us in just a few short weeks. And before you know it, we are going to be doing this every freaking weekend until <laughs> November. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little different. But again, I really appreciate all the support. Kim, Mark, Dan, all of you guys, Billy, just the crew for, you know, chipping in. Even Ryan, Ryan sent me a few random shots throughout the week. So all hands on deck, appreciate it. And I think actually the first, um, I'm thinking outdoor because I'm pretty sure my brother is racing Trenton indoors in two weeks. But the first outdoor race is with the Short Track Super Series at Hagerstown. And I have not been to Hagerstown in years. So I'm excited for that. Um, if you guys are in the area or you want to come out, come hang out with us. That is where you're going to be seeing us in the Modifieds next. So thank you. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon. Become a part of Club DTU. And we've got the newsletter. We've got all kinds of stuff to stay tuned. So appreciate you guys. And we'll catch you guys next time.